hair tutorial based upon the music video all about the bass. And the second I hear that song, it's like in my head. So I'm really excited to do this hair tutorial. I thought it was super cute on Megan. I think it's perfect on anybody. And now that my hair is this fun cotton candy lilac, I thought it was perfect. So today I'm going to do a giveaway as well with Kendra Professional Hair Products. As you guys know, I love this line. I've been using their hairspray for a while and I just started using their conditioner. So this one right here is a blow dry conditioner and I'm almost out. I think I only have like this much left. I've been using so much of it and I just absolutely love it. So I am working with the company to do a giveaway for you guys. So we're going to be giving away some Kenra Professional Products and it's going to be the conditioner, the shampoo, and a couple of other fun products. So you can check them out on their Facebook page and their Instagram and their website below, Kenra.com. So let's get into this fun tutorial. Okay, so the first thing is you want to put a heat protectant product in. I'm going to be using, this is the Kenra Thickening Spray. First you do is just shake it up and it's going to help thicken your hair and it's going to protect from the heat. You can see my hair is so shiny, I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so you're just going to spray it from root to tip. Now you can either pump it into your hand or you can actually spray it in because it's a mist. But sometimes I like to spray it into my hand and kind of run it through so I can control where it goes. Look at that highlighter. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to spray the ends because you really want to make sure that you protect your ends. So it says here, which is pretty cool, is that it will thicken your hair by up to 96% after three applications. So it's pretty nice. I've only used this a couple times, but look at that hair. Okay, so anyway, now I'm going to kind of let that sit into my hair, kind of work its way in so I don't sizzle when I'm curling it. And I'm going to plug in my curling iron. This is a 19 millimeter. You can use whatever you want because really you just want to create some really fun, loose, Happy waves. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to run this huge brush through my hair. This is just a bore, big bore brush. Alrighty, let's do this. So the first thing is you're going to section off your hair and you want to do a messy deep side part, which I love. And that looks pretty messy to me. And then you literally just clip it over like this. It's just so simple, but it's so cute. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a section of your hair. Now I like to work vertically like this and you're going to take your iron. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of your hair. I like to work in vertical pieces like this, pretty thin. And I'm going to take this upside down as key and you're going to wrap it around. Now if your hair curls pretty quickly, you don't want to hold it on there too long because you want to just create these kinds of waves. It's very free-flowing, almost like you have really loose, natural waves. Just like this right here. You're going to take the next section. You're going to do that again. Now, if you do a wider rod, it's going to be a little easier for those with longer hair. Now, if your hair is really short, you're going to want to do a smaller rod. And then for like this section right here, you're going to do a top section and then a bottom section. Because there isn't like a particular curl or a wave to this look, you could really just just go free and just kind of curl wherever. Make sure you just get every piece of hair into the iron, but it doesn't have to be counterclockwise or clockwise. You want to kind of rotate because then you don't get those weird clumps. And if you're like, mm, my curls fall really quickly, you're just going to wrap it around. And then you're going to push it, almost like a pin curl, right to your hair, to your scalp like that. Take your hair right to your scalp, and you're going to kind of bobby pin it like this. Thing. Now for this piece, you only want to really create a wave right around here. You don't want any texture up here because you want to do that cute little swoop. So I'm going to take this away from my face, beginning halfway down the shaft of the hair. And wrap it around. Like that. Then you're going to take another piece and you're going to repeat it. Take small sections like this small little slices okay so I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back okay so now that I kind of have a little texture to my hair I'm gonna go back in and pick a couple of pieces and just kind of give it that extra little corkscrew curl and then we're gonna like stretch them out so very very thin pieces let's go in 
take a couple of them. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're going to take these and you're gonna kind of pull them apart individually. Now this one right here is the one that I pulled back with a bobby pin so you can see, but you can see how it has that really dramatic curl. That's for another tutorial, but it's so pretty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of stretch it, shake it, and release it, kind of relax it like this. So that I have a little bit of a wave to my hair. And you don't wanna do it too fast because you don't want some like crazy frizzy hair. Okay, now for the fun part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take some foil and you're gonna pick some pieces and you're gonna spray it pink. So I'm just gonna use some Halloween-y pink spray. Shake it up. Now you wanna test a little piece first before you go all crazy. And I have my little foil piece right here. Like this. My hair's pretty light so it better work. Now I have a fun little pink streak right there. So you can do this throughout your hair. Don't put too much because you don't want it to drip on your neck or anything like that. I don't want to go too dramatic because my hair is purple. It's not blonde like hers. So I want to be very careful with going a little crazy with my hair. So. You're gonna make sure you let that dry before you touch it. Or you get it on your neck. Now if you don't like that method, you can use something like this that has a, a little sponge on there. It's so much easier, it's what I'm used to. You just take it and pink, pink, pink. That's so much easier, right? So these strands right here, you may have to go back in and recurl it depending on how much product you put on there. But you wanna give it some time to dry. So I'm going to do uh, one more right here. I'm just going to put it towards the end. Really soft and then a little bit more intense as you get towards the end of your hair. So these pieces will dry in about like five minutes and you're going to go in and you're just going to curl them. Can you give it life again? Then the next thing is you're going to put hairspray because you don't want this to get all over the place and you want to keep these little curls and waves intact. So I'm using the Kenra Dry Thickening Spray. This one right here. And I'm going to spray it all over. Especially these guys. Okay, then we're going to take this back part of our hair. Just kind of lift it just a little bit. If you need to tease it, go right ahead. Give it a little bit of volume. Then I'm going to take this right here, the underside, and I'm going to tease out a little bit with my ore bristle there. You can see it poofs up really fast. Then I'm going to take my bobby pin, take this part, and swoop it and bobby pin it. You could put like a flower, you can do like a tool bow, however you want. I'm gonna put an X because I don't want it to go anywhere. Then I'm gonna just kind of, then I have like a lot of little tiny baby hair. I'm gonna take this, this is the Kenra Platinum Texturizing Taffy. Oh, it's so pretty, it's purple, so I had to make an excuse to use it. Ah, oh, see, it's purple or violet. I'm gonna take just a little bit because a little goes a long way. And I'm gonna take these tiny little baby hairs and I'm gonna blend it in with the rest of my hair. So the final step is to spray more Kenra Thickening Hair Spray because I like that thick, full hair without using any of the extensions or any teasing, but you're welcome to do that to keep it really authentic. And this is the final look. I think it's super cute if you've never seen the video and you wanna do this look, I think it's perfect for any day. It's really quick and simple. Explaining it takes a little bit longer, but doing it, it's super easy and fantastic. And that completes the hair tutorial for All About the Base, the cute little look that Megan was wearing in that video. Let me know in the comments what you think of that song. Now for the amazing giveaway. I'm super excited because Kendra has generously offered this amazing giveaway and it's going to be the products 
that I used in this video, starting with a thickening spray. Now, I shook this up, put this in my hair before I used the heating product, so I got that shiny hair. And then I used, throughout the video, I used different things, but I also used the Canada Platinum Texturizing Taffy for those little baby hairs. I like it because it doesn't, it's not sticky or anything like that. It just kind of blends in with the rest of my hair. And then I used a lot of this dry thickening spray from Kenner, so really like that. Now this is the one that everyone recommended, and this is the one that I had to try, was the blow dry conditioner and shampoo. I'm almost out of the conditioner. I only have like this much left because I absolutely love it. It just keeps my hair really nice and clean and shiny and soft and all of that good stuff. So this is how you enter. All you have to do is comment below what product are you most excited to try. Then go over to Kenra's Facebook page, like their page just for funsies, and we're going to be picking a winner, U.S. residents only, because it is this kind of product where you have to ship it, and it's, I don't know if it's okay to ship international. So, it's going to be U.S. residents only for this one, sorry guys, and it's going to go up until the last day of October, then I'm going to pick one lucky winner to win all this wonderful stuff from Kenra's. And there you have it. Good luck on the giveaway. Let me know what hairstyle you want to see next. I'm like really into these hairstyles and stuff like that. I think this one is super cute. It sounds like it's a lot of steps, but it's really simple and it's super cute, fun, and functional. I'm Elisa. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.